and set. Crazy days. Keep control of your free arm is the main thing for Teal right now. There you go. Big moves with that free arm, but correct moves, and eight seconds later, Teal is on the board. Most guys that ride, let's say, right-handed like Teal does, they'll ride with the, the seam of their wranglers just to the left side of the, the spine or the backbone of them bulls, and that kind of just sets the balance between your riding hand and your hips. Cody Teal's one that rides with his seam dead center of them bulls, so any little over movement with that free arm and that twist of that hip, it, it, it intensifies and compounds a lot faster with him. He has to really keep that free arm in control. If he gets it too high, swung behind him, he's gone. Cody, on paper, that one is tough for a couple of reasons. How are you able to get past him? Uh, you just gotta keep sending your hips that bull, that hop and skip like that. And uh, I knew when you get around there, he looked to kind of level out and uh, felt pretty solid by the end of it. Paid off, well done. Thank you. Matt. Cody Teal with a chance to take over the lead. He faces Diamond Willow. That's his second score of the weekend. Will it be enough? He's making a lot of championship rounds this season, but his best result overall is a tie for sixth. Here against Diamond Willow, if it's more than 85 and a quarter, he moves to the number one spot. And it's enough. 85 and three quarters, but for some reason there was the challenge button was hit. Yeah, I think that was just a fluke deal there, but Cody Till does a nice job here. We were just talking about Luciano getting his free arm too high and behind him. And you watch Till, even if his free arm comes behind him, he goes right back to the front with. He's quick with it, he gets it back to the front and gets his shoulder squared back up. The guy that's fighting for one of the spots on tour. Slam dunk, hey, hey. Cody Teal can make ah. it look oh so easy. Are the judges gonna reward him for that? Because Teal is triumphant. He wanted a chance against Freckles Brown and he makes the most of it. We're gonna have a new number one, 90 and a quarter. And this was a guy that was 32nd in the world yeah. standings because he Great no point. longer is it. I'll tell you, this is, this is what Till's capable of, man. And you don't make that big a deal about Cody Till. You just expect it out of him. He just quietly goes about his business and makes really, really good bull rides. Cody, coming into this event, you're way closer to that cut line than you wanted to be. How did perseverance and patience pay off for you to be standing in the winner's circle? Yeah, I was running out of patience. I had, I've been wasting a lot of big opportunities week in and week out, but uh, you know, you just got to capitalize on bulls like that when you have a chance to get them, and uh, just glad I was able to do it today. We've seen you in a lot of championship rounds this season. What was the difference this time around that allowed you to finish strong? Oh, I don't know. You know, it's, can't overthink it too much. It's boy riding. Name of the game just staying on. And like I was saying, you know, came in with a good pick, and uh, that bull was on the board. I was excited to have him, and just happy I was able to take advantage of it. Well done, Cody. Congratulations. Thank you.